Welcome back to the Delaware Way. We're joined now by Representative Potter, who is in the first segment of the show, Representative Bolden and Representative Williams. They all voted against the bailout of the casino industry, and we had a discussion for a moment ago that Representative Potter, that you were not involved in. What would you like to say? I like to say that I did sit on the commission. As you know, I serve as the chair. And at no time did those casinos open up their books completely so that we can see all their financials. And I thought that was very strange because we have other businesses come in all the time. You know, somebody might want a thousand dollar grant. You know, we dot our I's, cross our T's. It's called trust and verify. But we didn't do this for 10 million, 30 million in the duration of this deal you know, to check out their financials, and I think that was absolutely wrong. The more you say about this deal, mm -hmm. the less sense it makes. Right. I, I, would I would love to go to a bank and say, hey, I want a loan, mm -hmm. okay, let me see your books. No, <laughs> right. you can't yeah. see my books, but I'd really like the money. Well, when the city of Wilmington comes down or any other municipality, I'm gonna say, don't worry about financial disclosures, because if we can do it for the casinos, we can do it for you. You really going to say that? I'm going to say that. I'm a straight talk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I also need to mention that. I think the line's forming out <laughs> front right now. Sure, it should be. You know, um, when the casinos were doing very good and they were making 20 or 30 million extra dollars a year, they never came back to the state and said, hey, guess what, state? We're making all this money. Here's 10 million. They never did that. But now that they call themselves being in trouble, now they come to us asking for money. I just can't support it, have not supported it. Is there any way? out of this deal right now? Is there a way that you can say, you know what, this isn't working out, we don't like it, and we're not going to And let me say this since I didn't get to say this part. <laughs> the other thing about it, Larry, right? Larry, yes. <laughs> I'll make sure, Larry, is that... <laughs> I, I want right? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> to make sure, is this, is that we, and as you know, Dennis, we have two casinos want to come in. We can bid out license right now and get about $50 million. The two casinos will bring in over $500 million in infrastructure, and then we'll get spin-off jobs. How can we say no to that? How can we just create monopolies? You have, haven't you? We have. And mm -hmm. I, I'm wondering, you know, it's, it's a wonder why we haven't been sued for it, really, you know, create monopolies. The reason that people voted on the other side, from what I've read, is just to save jobs. Because, in specific jobs, in their districts. They had mm -hmm. people that were working at casino they wanted to save jobs. Is that fair? I don't want to say something that's unfair. If you were to fair. characterize the other side, that would be fair in this argument. But everything you've mentioned, the casinos called the shots. They got to say exactly how this deal was going to work, right. except for the fact that they didn't get as much money as they would like, mm -hmm. but they're going to come back next year and try to get that extra money. Yes. 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 And you said that there was more lobbyist on this than, than on any other issue I can remember since <laughs> I've only been there six years. But, you know, the last couple of weeks down in Dover, you could not walk around <laughs> the hall without bumping into a casino True. lobbyist. Yeah. It, it mm -hmm. was amazing. And it was all geared up towards the very end of the session. That's why there was some confusion about exactly what the bill did. What can they say to you that can get you to vote a certain way? I know none of you did, but you've, yeah. you've had conversations. Yeah. I don't know what they could say to somebody to get them to accept this particular deal because it's outrageous. It just doesn't make sense. Wilmington is suffering in so many ways in, in crime and in education. Uh, I'm sure you look at this and see them giving money to the casino industry saying, man, I, we could use this money here. Well, we're all a part of Newcastle County. And when you look at the number of people that represent Newcastle County, also should be fighting for the city of Wilmington. Mm -hmm. But they are the ones that, too, have voted in support of, of these uh, bailouts, so to speak. And I think that there's a bigger picture. Again, as an educator, retired educator, I'm looking at the school system, the uh, testing system, the teachers we're trying to get here, the kids that are being displaced, all these things, and we continue to cut education and, all, and we're gonna put money into casinos in terms of bailing them out. The general fund, everything goes in the general fund. I remember when I was on city council, I sent a resolution asking for part of the uh, lottery as well as casino funding to be allocated to education and public safety. It never went anywhere. Where does the money go? Other states. Just doing general, general funds. funds. Fund. General sure funds. Money but some of the money the that, that went for this bailout came from the capital and but. infrastructure budget. Mm -hmm. and, and even if you supported the bailout, 
you should not have supported where the money came from. This is a perfect segue <laughs> since it came out of the infrastructure budget. <laughs> I want to talk about I-495. <laughs> right. I, I, it, a lot of people look at this, I-495, and say, mm -hmm. how did all of that dirt pile up all this time and no one saw it. We of course are talking about the I-495 mm -hmm. bridge which is out of commission in the middle of the summer. Mm -hmm. and how many people go over that in a given day? 90,000. Mm -hmm. 90,000 people go over the inconveniencing everybody. Mm -hmm. And so the bridge is knocked out because a contractor piled up dirt, mm -hmm. 55,000 tons Ton. of dirt mm -hmm. over years and years and years and years. My question is this, who approved that? Mm -hmm. Who saw it and said nothing? And shouldn't that be thoroughly investigated by an outside source? I don't know who approved it, but I can assure you that somebody had to see the mounds of dirt piling up, the size of a football field, 30 foot high. Uh, somebody had to turn their head. But the amazing thing is now that they're, they're, they're trying to blame DENREC, you know, because this is going to take the so responsibility. DENREC is the uh, Delaware Environmental Department of Natural Resources, Natural Resources. And Environmental Control. And, you know, the responsible party should pay for that. The city shouldn't bear the cost, the state or the county should bear the cost. The responsible party, that the guy from the port who put the dirt there, should be responsible for it. Well, there are two issues, too. There's DENREC uh, Environmental Control as well as DELDOT. And that dirt pile extended uh, from an area that was monitored by or should be monitored by DENREC also into the state right of way which is controlled mm -hmm. by DELDOT so there are two agencies involved and you know not just Delaware but across the country all the states are not spending what they should be on infrastructure mm -hmm. they're not uh, putting the money they need which is the biggest job creator out there and mm -hmm. because of that even in Delaware um, that pile was there for less than two years and we only know that because the bridges are inspected at least every two years. So unless the pile the wasn't there last time. It, unless the inspector Well, it wasn't there last time, but um, it we did pile up over time. We know that for a fact. Time. There are pictures, there are photographs that show it wasn't there last time. That I, I mean, don't know, but maybe the bridge inspection should happen more frequently. And if we were focusing more on infrastructure, and the best way to save money on infrastructure spending is to inspect more and repair more so that we don't end up, you know, solving the problem, preventing the problem is much cheaper than spending 20, 30, or 40 million dollars. But I want to get back to who's responsible for this. The city of Wilmington also has some responsibility, do they not? Well, because they Denrec do, but, but first, I want to plug the person that actually <laughs> called this to their uh, attention, and his name is Charlie. We he has runs Northeast Body Shop on uh, Northeast Boulevard. Uh, he's very much involved in the community, et cetera. Then the other thing I look at, this is in the South Bridge area mm -hmm. where this is located. This is not an area where I think uh, gets the most that should be done there in the first place. Uh, it's overlooked because part of it is, is rural mm -hmm. and it's low income. It's where all the public housing used to be. So when people drive through there, all that public housing has been torn down now. So it, it's an easy place to do dumping and things of that nature. So I think it was overlooked as a result of that, and, and nobody saw, really. You don't think because of the approval? people who live in that area. That's yeah. what you're saying. And that's I what I'm that saying. Too. I I, mm -hmm. I think it 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 was bias uh, yes. in terms of what's mm -hmm. done in that particular area of the city of Wilmington, like so many other areas, like the Riverside area in the back there, things of that nature. These are places that are not inspected. On a regular basis. We had Charlie Copeland. Let me just point one yeah. point up. We had Charlie Copeland, the chair of the Republican Party, on last week. He called. He's calling for a federal investigation. He said that you you can't trust the local agencies to investigate themselves because nobody's going to take the blame for this, and that obviously somebody knew about this and let it go, and that the Delaware Way, which is the name of this show, mm -hmm. is not to mm. point the finger at each other in this state, which is why you need somebody from out of state to come in and take a look at this. That is, that is the Delaware way, and we should have a, our own inspector uh, here to do something like that, uh, because too many people know each other, and they don't want to hold anybody responsible. So it's not often I agree with Republicans, but on this, <laughs> I do support what he's saying. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for having us. Representative Potter, Representative Bolden, thank Representative you. Williams, thank you thank very you. much. And, uh, yes. Well, now I yes, Thanks sir. for meeting <laughs> you. <laughs> yes, Larry. <laughs> Larry, it is Larry. By the way, right? next time I'll be Larry. <laughs> yeah. I'll still be Larry. Uh -huh. Some final thoughts when we come right back.